you don't see them or hear their voice. Forever, my love. Forever. What's going to happen to us? Your mother has influenza. I'm sure she'll be all right, but we're going to have to look after her carefully. You look rather solemn. I think you should be head nurse. Yes. I'll send down some medicine. Keep up a good fire. Have some strong beef tea made for when her fever goes down. She can have grapes now and beef essence, soda water and milk and a bottle of the best brandy. I'll write it down. I can't afford all this rubbish. Mother, you need all these things. Ask Mrs. Viney to boil up a scrag and a mutton for your supper tomorrow night. I'll have the broth. Chilling on mother's brandy and beef tea. How are we going to buy all the other things? I don't know. Well, we've got to get mother better. Sorry to disturb you in your train. We feel we know you a little from waving so often. <laughs> Please take this. Thank you, my dear. Dear Mr. We do not know your name. Mother is ill, and the doctor says to give her the things at the end of this letter. She says we can't afford it, and to get mutton for us, and she will have the broth. We do not know anybody here but you, because Father is away, and we do not know the address. Father will pay you, or if he has lost all his money or anything, Peter will pay you when he is a man.
gentleman asked me to fetch this up right away. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Pelt. Oh, I'll carry a few hampers in the time. Especially during the hamper season. The worst thing I remember to carry was a fish tank with the water still in it. If anybody ever asks you to carry a fish tank with the water still in it, just say to them, say, well, you can say anything you like because nobody's listening. I'm very sorry, but I don't have tuppence to give you like Father does. Just drop that right now, young man. I just wanted to say I was sorry to hear your mother wasn't well and, and to bring her some, some sweet bread because it smells so nice. I'm not looking for any tuppences. I beg your pardon. Right, well, no offence. Kitty winks indeed. Dear Roberta and Phyllis and Peter, here are the things you want. Your mother will want to know where they came from. Two chickens! <laughs> tell her they were sent by a friend who heard she was ill. When she is well again, you must tell her about it, of course. E or de Cologne? Or de Cologne, silly. It's for dabbing on in places you think you're going to be kissed. Never, never, never ask strangers to give us things. Is that clear? It's not right to go telling everyone about our affairs. Why? There are lots of bills coming in, you said. I know there's a doctor. I know we're poor, but we've got enough to live on. Now, I'm going to write to your old gentleman, thanking him, but telling him I don't approve of what you did. I still think we were right to ask, because otherwise... No, Peter. There are some things that people like us just don't do, no matter what. Now, we won't talk about it anymore. Because it can strike at any moment, illness. That's the frightening thing. One minute you're standing up, the next minute you're lying down. Mrs. Viney? From standing up to lying down in as little as a minute, another doctor. He'll be expensive. I should know. I've been under him several times. Very warm hands. Oh, you're throwing it all wonkily. You do it then. I can't bat and bowl. Oh, I want a brother. So, uh, nobody's ill. No. Good. Makes a change. I get a lot of illness. <laughs> blurt it all out, then. What's the trouble? It's rather hard to just blurt it out because of what Mother said. What did Mother say? That I wasn't to go telling everyone we were poor. But you're not everyone, are you? Not at all. Well, <clears throat> I know from Mrs. Viney that doctors are expensive. 
And you're a good doctor, so you must be very expensive. <laughs> you might think so, mightn't you? <laughs> so, so I asked her how she could afford you, because I know she's much poorer than we are. I've been in her house. Ah. She said her doctoring only cost her tuppence a week because she belonged to a club. And I don't want Mother to be anxious, and I thought I'd ask you, can we be in the club too? You're not cross with me, are you? You're probably not very wealthy either. How could I be cross? <laughs> You're very sensible. I'll make it all right with your mother. Now, don't you worry, or you'll make yourself ill. Then I'll have to send you a bill as long as that railway line. Shall we wave at the people in the boat? Like we wave at the old gentleman? The problem is, we'd wave, and we'd still all be there, watching each other. You really think you'll catch something? Yes. yes. You haven't even got a hook, Phil. Well, I don't want to hurt the fish. <laughs> Come on, we should go and meet Mother off the train. Hello, excuse me. What's the time? I mean, I dropped my watch in the water butt and it doesn't... Mind your own business, posh bloody kids. Stuck up. Ow! Hey! Why did you say that? That's horrible. We're just normal children. We're not posh. I've repaired this dress a hundred times. And even if we were posh, we still care about you and not despise you just because you were poorer than us. Right. Next time, they'll be sorry. Perhaps we should stick to the railway. if you please. Well, what's the trouble? You're so platier than a billet. No, you're so... You're so... You're so... You're so... What's it all? Nope. Don't understand a word. Mother knows languages. She'll be on the next train from Maybridge. This way? If you please. Well, he's got no tickets and no visible means of support. I'm not sure I shouldn't send for the police. No! 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 We'll show him these foreign stamps, and he can tell us if he recognises his country. Norwegian. That's a nice one. No, no, he's not Norwegian. He'd be wearing one of them thick jumpers if he was Norwegian. Smotrite. Вот. Русская. Я родом оттуда. Это моя родина. Oh, he's Russian. Je parle français aussi. Um, you can stay at our house. Vous êtes très gentil. C'est possible. Oh, oui. Bon voyage. <laughs> He's worn out, body and soul. He should go straight to bed and must be kept warm. Thank you. St 
That means hello in Russian. Or perhaps goodbye. I think he might need to join your club. He's got nothing. I saw him crying. Please don't. You wouldn't smile if you'd seen him. I've never seen a man cry before. I'm sorry. 